Hello and a very warm welcome to Bangkok Patina School, Thailand's original British International School. We are a large, friendly and truly international community with over 60 nationalities. Bangkok Patina offers students a unique breadth of opportunity both within and outside the classroom to ensure that each and every one of our learners reaches their full potential. Our primary students from nursery to year six follow a progressive British-based curriculum, which is adapted to engage, challenge and excite them, whether they are learning atomic theory or exploring in our outdoor classroom. In secondary, students follow the British curriculum until year 11, when they take IGCSE exams and then move on to study the IB Diploma programme. Students are supported by a strong pastoral system and a team of dedicated and inspiring teachers. A highlight for many of our students is our expansive extracurricular programme, with 500 activities running each week after school. These provide critical opportunities for students to follow their passions, establish friendships and learn new skills. Our school values of well-being, learning and global citizenship are at the heart of all we do. Our 50-acre campus is located in southeast Bangkok and is easily accessible by BTS or our school shuttle service. As our school buses are usually moving against the traffic, the journey to school from popular residential locations such as Asok and Krompong take only around half an hour. We have a wonderful community here at Bangkok Patina. Do contact us if you would like to find out more. Fantastic. That was fan wonderful. I, I love that. Uh, Cheryl, I am so Thanks, happy Stephen. to wel welcome you to the stage with me here to talk about Bangkok Patina. How are you today? I'm doing well, thanks. It's a great Saturday morning. A bit uh, a bit hot, but hey, you know, I don't mind. It's lovely being in Bangkok. <laughs> awesome. What's what you know, we just saw the uh the you know the video obviously that you prepared. I, I gave a little introduction to to Patina. Give me, you know, your your 15 seconds. Why is Patina a great choice? Why, you know, why should parents consider it? Well, actually, I'm going to give you uh, an example for my own kids, because I didn't work at Patna when I first arrived. We chose Bangkok Patna, just like many of the other parents were going around and looking at schools. I came to uh, Bangkok from Canada. We have three boys. Uh, my first son had 
learned, he was about 11 years old when he came and he had learned to do just enough so that he would get by. So he was like a solid B student. You know, he knew exactly what to do. My second son actually um, did really well in school, but would get all his work done within the first third of the class and then spent the rest of the time sort of shooting things at people and being generally <laughs> a real pain in class. <laughs> and my uh, third son was a little boy. He was just five years old. So um, what Patna did is that very quickly, my teachers within sort of two weeks of being in school, my eldest son soon learned that he couldn't get by just with doing exactly what he wanted. The teachers honed in on him and said, right, Andrew, you know, we need a little bit more. So that's not good enough. And for my second son, Jonathan, they quickly also figured out that, hey, you know, this boy is getting it really quickly. We need to give him more. So for me, it was just that, you know, personalized focus and feedback and saying, look, you know, uh, these boys are doing well, but they can do better. Or, um, and it's not really just about doing well or better. It's just trying to, you know, get to know the, the, the child and really work to what, uh, or try to pull out from what, what works best for them. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Absolutely. I've got, I have three kids, you know, Misty's. Oh, so I, 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 I admit we're not, we're not at Patna, but you know, total, same situation, right? Like does the school yeah. bring them in? You know, how, how do they nurture them? Uh, you know, I know that one question and, and it was interesting because I was watching the video kind of, kind of looking at this. So many parents have, you know, Bangkok has been, you know, right now, obviously you're having some, you know, some lockdown issues with, with COVID, but yeah. you've been open for so long uh, and you're going to be able to return to openness very quickly uh, just yeah. because of some of the actions that the, the Bangkok government has taken there. Talk to me about traffic. I know that the, the head of admissions there, or, uh, you know, she had spoken about that, that you're against traffic, but, but, but talk to me about that situation. What's it like to get to Patna and, you know, come and go for the kids? Well, uh, we're really fortunate now as opposed to 10 years ago because we've got two BTS stations serving us and we've got shuttle buses that run back and forth from those BTS stations. So that's Bang Nan Bering. Um, you'll be surprised to know that the majority of our families do live in the uh, upper Sukhumvit area. So, you know, Asok, Prompong, um, that sort of area. And yeah, our buses are actually running against the traffic. So out in the morning, um, you know, we've got families coming from Chidlom and Asok who are in school within about 20 to 25 minutes. So we say 30 minutes just to give and take on a day during traffic. Um, and that is actually brilliant. So a lot of people say, oh, you know, Bank of Patna is so far away. And uh, actually it's not much further than any other um, schools in the area simply because of the traffic we can get in and out quite quickly look Stephen, you know on a rainy day when the roads are flooded anywhere you go in bangkok you're going to be stuck i was just going to say i mean I, I i live you know usually a seven and a half to ten minute walk from you know so and but you know on a nice rainy day that that changes you know everything changes during the rain but there you go and uh and you know you've got to you've you've got to balance things. I mean, one one of the one of our biggest assets is our campus that is actually so green and and uh, you know we've got an outdoor classroom that is on our campus. You don't have to mm -hmm. walk. You, you can you know our students go there for one period and it's a closed canopy forest. Oh wow! Um, they study wildlife. I mean, it's it's incredible. Really outdoor learning there. Yeah, I mean, you can't get that in the city. And certainly during times of pollution, um, you know, when we're, when Bangkok is dealing with pollution, um, just the fact that we have so many trees on campus, our pollution levels are much lower. So we're about 30% lower than, um, you know, the pollution that's on the road, which is incredible, mm, really. That's, that's really cool. Um, yeah, and the, those AQI reports are really important to many, you know, to all of us, you know, I mean, and it's something that we can all monitor as well. Listen, I want to, I want to remind all the parents that are out there that are listening right now, we can take your questions. If you go to uh, facebook.com, BKK, uh, bkk.kids forward slash live, you know, we do have comments out there. Um, I'd like to ask a question about uh, student teacher ratio. You know, what's, uh, what's the student teacher ratio like at Patina? Um, you know, how bigger classes, how does that differ from lower school to upper school? You know, um, I'll, I'll leave it there for you. 
Sure, yeah. I mean, uh, we have about 20 children per classroom, and in the lower uh, school, we also uh, have TAs who help. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, there's far more teaching assistants in, for instance, the early years of foundation. Well, we seem to have hit a snag with Cheryl here. I'm I'm not sure where that what where the, the connection problem is, but we'll continue on here. Um, again, just want to remind everyone while we're waiting for Cheryl to to, to jump back in here, um, as we're all familiar with, you know, online meetings like this, you know, they can't have their hiccups. Um, please feel free to put your your comments in the. Uh, in the in the uh, the Facebook chat with you and up um, oh, there we are we're back with Cheryl great we we, uh, we no worries you know the, the these are the interwebs these these are the days of the interwebs that's just how it works so uh, yeah. you were you were talking um, about uh, teaching assistants and and you know, sort of yeah and, and for, I don't yeah. know I don't know if you got the part where I was talking about the specialists so we've got you know uh, aside from teachers and the teaching assistants we have specialists not just. I mean, we have specialists for music and, and, and literacy and math, but specialists for development. So for instance, we've got a physical development specialist in the early years. And basically she looks at how the children are developing their um, gross and fine motor skills and makes sure that within the curriculum, there's programs to develop those. Um, we've got a speech therapist who makes a speech specialist who makes sure that, um, you know, the communication and literacy is coming along well. And, so those are really uh, uh, fabulous things. Uh, along with our outdoor classroom, we've got specialists who, who know about you know learning outdoors and and learning biology outdoors and and uh, you know environmental uh, aspects outdoors. So yeah, I mean I think it's those things that you know sort of set us apart Fantastic. beyond just uh, teachers and teaching assistants in the classroom. All right, a question for you about um, curriculum and, you know, sort of how you teach. What other options other than IDP do you offer in your secondary school? So in secondary school, uh, uh, the students until you're in year 10, 11, they do IGCSE. Mm -hmm. And currently they go uh, in year 12 and 13. Most students follow the IVDP. So uh, we have about... I would say 90% of students that follow the IBDP and every year we've got five or six students that don't follow that. They follow an amended program um, that just gives them a high school leaving certificate. Now we have all those students that have done that and those that have chosen to go into university have got into very good universities with that certificate as well. So, um, you know, that's the other part. We don't offer an alternate program to IBDP per se, that's internationally certified, mm. but um, we have such a good reputation with universities around the world that our students don't seem to have a problem getting in if that's what they really want and they don't have the IBDP. Super cool. Um, what about, uh, I don't know how to ask this question in the right way. What about international, right? So you're, you're in Bangkok, there are plenty of Thai, you know, national or, you know, uh, uh, Thai citizens who would love to come to Patna. How, how do you maintain that mix? What's the, what's sort of the expat or the, you know, what's the, the, the mix of, you know, of nations that you have there at your school, those kinds of things? Yeah, actually we are, when we say we are the most international school in Bangkok, we mean that literally. So, uh, and we, you know, Stephen, one thing that's unclear when you're choosing an international school is how, you know, how does the school define the nationality of the student? And we go by passport, mm. um, as well as, uh, you know, we wanna make sure that uh, uh, beyond the passport, we wanna make sure that the parents also understand that if, if, if you say that your child was born in the US, for instance, and that you're English based, that the parents, you know, can support that. So we have 20% uh, of our students are uh, Thai nationality and the rest are international. Um, so basically, if you have an American passport and a Thai passport, we consider you as having Thai nationality. Okay. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I hope that gives you, that gives you an idea. 
It is. Uh, I'm always surprised that, you know, when we start having these conversations, I probably have 10 more questions for you, but, you know, our time comes to a close so so quickly. Um, I know that you're going to stick around for a little while. Um, you'll be paying attention. I will. Uh, and some of your people will be paying attention to the chat in, in, on our Facebook live page there. Anything that you want to close with? Any any really crucial points that you'd like to put out there for parents who are considering uh, PACMA? Yeah, I think uh, the main thing is, uh, you know, come and uh, and see the school. Actually, I have a tip for everyone who's looking at uh, looking at international schools. And it was a tip that was given to me as we were moving around uh, around the world. And someone said to me, you know, Cheryl, you should try and go visit a school and make sure you incorporate a break time or lunch time. Oh, yeah. Because at break time or lunch time, what you can find is you can find the true nature of the children and the teachers mm. because everyone's a bit more relaxed. You know, in classroom, everyone knows how to behave. You go during break time and you can you can see whether the students in school mostly speak Thai or they mostly speak English or they're mostly speaking many different languages. You can see whether the teachers are really attentive, even you know, when they're on a break duty, are they watching and interacting with the kids or are they just sort of hanging around looking at their phones? Anyhow, that's my tip. If you come to Patna, um, you will see, you know, I, I love walking around the school during break times. That's okay. And uh, Go ahead, sorry, sorry. The kids, you know, often, actually, my funny story before I go is often I'm walking around with an alarm and I love the independence that the children show as they get older. And even when they're four or five years old, they come up to me, you know, who are you? What are you doing in my playground? Who is that person? You know, I love it. Like to have that confidence. Mm. Anyhow, <laughs> I'll leave with that. <laughs> awesome. Cheryl, you know, a gem, man, yeah, that, that true words of wisdom there about, you know, taking the time to actually visit the school, take a break, you know, from the tour and actually just sort of, you know, get the, get the energy of the campus, you know, get the energy of the students. I really yeah, exactly. Thank you for taking time out of your Saturday morning to speak with us. Um, any questions that you have for Cheryl about Patana, please put them in, in the chat there in the Facebook live, but thank you so much. And we'll see you a little later. Yeah. Thanks, Stephen.